come into play here, although Smith charging early and landing punches early. He's got Maddox down on the ground, and Jeremy, he is laying a beating on Chris Maddox early. This might be revenge for having to cut all that weight and not being able to fight at 170, because I know Adam Smith had a very calm demeanor, but in talking to him yesterday, he took the fight, but he was very upset and that Maddox was not even close. And he is smashed up. At a, or Chris Maddox knows it is bleeding badly here in the early going and Maddox was trying to find a takedown and eventually wound up on the bottom as Adam Smith now posturing up and trying to land punches from the top and doing so right there. Dangerous position though for Adam Smith, although a very good jiu-jitsu practitioner in his own right, but he needs to be careful here. With the length of Maddock, he's very dangerous in getting moves and, and isolating arms and attacking arms, which he's doing right now with this position. And again, that's something that Adam Smith really needs to be conscious about. Yeah, making sure he's protecting himself and also avoiding the triangle. Huge punch from the top, although now looking for an arm bar. Chris Maddock trying to bend it around. And now Adam Smith might be in some trouble. Maddock now having to release the arm and Adam Smith swarming right back on top. Excellent work by Adam Smith. He moved into a position where he, he flipped to the other side and he got into side control on the other side. That countered the Omoplata Oma plot setup and look at the blood dripping on the canvas right now from Chris Maddock. Adam Smith is trying to make a statement right here. Yeah, Adam Smith has beaten up Chris Maddock in the beginning stages of this fight. Not even two minutes in the books and Chris Maddock a bit of a mess here. Adam Smith again dropping punches. Maddock trying to catch him. We've seen it do him before and catch an arm bar, but now he's turtling up as Adam Smith landing hammer fist from the top. Chris Maddock in trouble here early. Well, and again, here's, here's the other thing. In this position, when you're on your back and your nose is bleeding like this, that blood is coursing down the back of your throat and it's slowing down your breathing. And any time where your breathing gets slowed down, whether it's by a choke or by a hand over the mouth, it's going to affect your system. The lactic acid builds up and that's going to be a real damage. So good job by Adam Smith in trying to keep Chris Maddock from turning over. And you see Chris Maddock is doing everything he can to turn over so that the blood will drip out of his nose as opposed to down his throat. And you can see when he does roll over, it pours out of his nose after pooling in there while he's on his back. But Adam Smith has been in control of this fight right from the get-go. And Chris Maddock with those two elbows landing his first offense of fight no, of this fight and first offense in round one. Trying to step over with an arm in guillotine is Adam Smith looking for the choke, or the arm triangle rather. Now trying to get the back of Chris Maddock. He has it. A nice body scissor there to keep her to body triangle rather to keep him in place. And now he'll be looking for a submission. It's all about patience. He knows he's got lots of time left in the round. Now he's trying to again land some strikes to soften Chris Maddock up. See if Chris Maddock will change. The official right on top saying, hey, you've got to defend yourself or he's going to stop this fight. And we've seen fights stop like this already here tonight with elbows and unanswered blows from the top. Chris Maddock is defending. Adam Smith is landing a beating on the stand. That is it. Adam Smith, your winner. Chris Maddock, a mess on the canvas. Adam Smith made a statement with this victory.